Hello and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. This is just going to be a quick video covering how to level the attention skill. Now, this one you shouldn't really have to worry about and it seems like a misnomer to make a video about it. But I'm actually level 23 and I still don't have the level 3 requirement needed for the level 2 water filter in the hideout. And that's because of a myriad of reasons. The first being, I've played a lot of scav raids this, um, this wipe rather than actual PMC raids. And that affects it because the way to level attention skill is to search containers. So yeah, just to level this skill, all you need to do is search containers. And for every one item you find, you'll get 0.2 of a skill point. So the types of containers don't really matter as much. But I would recommend doing it on reserve customs or interchange. Simply because I think they're the most loot dense map while still being fairly spread out. You know, you don't really want to do it on shoreline and woods because you have to travel so far to get the loot. And factory's too... It's too close, there's too many people on factory. And that would increase the chances of you finding someone and dying. You know, and then that's lost gains. But once you're on one of those maps, I would just suggest looking for any and all containers. Duffels, stashes, crates... Um, what else? You could go for toolboxes, you could go for weapons crates, like I'm looting here. Filing cabinets are great because that's four slots of four slots. But it's all about the number of items you find, not the amount. I mean, it, you know, if you find three one slot items and three four slot items, it's the same amount of attention skill XP. It's always going to be 0.1 XP. Or 0.2 XP, I think it's 0.2 XP per item. Whether it's one slot item, two slot, three slot, four slot, whatever slot. I also think a contributing factor to this maybe has been a lower skill for me at this wipe is a lot of the money to be made in the game and the loot isn't in containers. It's loose spawns. It's when you go to, you, you know what I mean? You go to Shoreline, it's the bitcoins in the drawers that you don't have to search that are just there, the static spawns on top of things, it's the high value weapon attachment spawns that are just loose. So I think that does contribute to the fact that it's not leveling as fast and as, um, what's the term, organically as it should. But you can expect around 4 points per raid, that's what I was getting. By the time I hit around the 4 point mark, I was getting 6% of that 0.2 points per item. So just bear in mind, it will cap out. I think four points a raid is about minimum. Ideally, it's going to take you between 10 and 20 raids to get to level three. Now this is something, it's a skill I would definitely consider leveling alongside another skill. Say for example, you wanted to level your strength skill and you wanted to do that by getting yourself overweight and just walking around woods or reserve or shoreline not, not reserve. Shoreline, woods, what's the other one? Interchange, interchange, that's the one. And you wanted to walk around those three maps, and you just hit the stashes on those maps. You would be leveling strength, endurance, attention skill, and also metabolism if you threw in some water in there, you know, you just drink and eat what's on, you know, on the way. And it wouldn't be too hard to do. I mean, you could get overweight quite easily if you put a bunch of SAS drives, which are around 20,000 rubles, into a documents case. That's what I'm doing at the moment for strength training is, I think it's 12, 16 SAS drives into a docs bag, and that weighs around, how much is it? I think it's about 16 kilograms. It's between 14 and 16 kilograms, it works out about 7 or 8 points, as 7 to 8 kilograms per slot. So I do think it's the best per slot value for weight on an item. But that's going to be it for this video. It's just a short little guide to help you learn more about the soft skill system and how to level this particular skill for the water filter too. Uh, reason being is I started my new job today and I haven't really had the time to make a full-fledged video. So I think days when I'm working long hours, I'm going to be doing smaller videos like this that are just more informational and, you know, just, it might, you know, if my upload schedule gets a bit irregular, you know why, it's just because I've started a new job, and it's just making it a bit difficult, but I will try and get out a video daily, 
not saying it's going to happen all the time but you know all I can promise is that I'll try and make videos that are teaching people and I'm going to try and get a guide for each of the soft skills because they really heavily impact the way the game plays I mean this attention skill at max level it helps you find better loot like it increases the rarity of the loot you're going to find and that's just a fantastic advantage and there's more little things like that that are in the game that maybe people don't know about so thank you for watching this video I hope you're having a great day if you need a guide making or you want a video making just let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you next time